So Excel officially has dark mode. And in this video, I'm gonna explain what I like about it and what I don't like about it. So here on the view tab, there's a new button called switch modes where we can switch between light mode, which is just the standard mode we're used to in Excel and then dark mode. And of course that inverts all the colors here. So the cells become black with white text and some of the darker shades will change to lighter shades and vice versa. So I have a few examples here. Here's some conditional formatting and this is what it would look like regularly in light mode. And we can see what that looks like in dark mode. Here is an output from Power Query. So same kind of thing with this default green table that we're all used to seeing from Power Query. This is what it looks like in dark mode. For pivot tables, uh, same thing. Here's the standard pivot table formatting. And that's what it looks like in dark mode. So overall, I do like dark mode, but there are a few things I don't like or think could be improved. First of all, this button here does not always appear. In order to get it to appear, you have to go into File, Account, and then your Office theme either needs to be Use System Setting or Black. If it's set to Black, then the Dark Mode button will always appear. If it's set to Use System Setting, then you actually have to go into Windows Settings under Personalization Colors and change Windows into Dark Mode in order to get the button to appear. If Windows is in Light Mode, that button will not be there on the ribbon. So it can take multiple steps depending on which of these themes you're on for Office. Now, I like to use the colorful theme because it shows green up here at the top for Excel and orange for PowerPoint, blue for Word. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with the different Office applications, in my opinion. So for me to turn on dark mode would require multiple steps. And what I probably do is go here to black and then I jump back into Excel and I'd have the mode available right here. So this really makes it kind of a hidden feature. And I wish you could just press this button to turn Excel into light mode or dark mode, regardless of what theme, what office theme you're currently using. That would be a lot easier and a lot more useful, at least for me, because I don't always work in dark mode, but there are times early in the morning or late in the evening when I'd love to flip that on in Excel. Now, one thing to be aware of with dark mode is that the color palettes and the color picker do not invert. And what I mean by that is these are the colors that you will see in light mode. So if we want to change the fill color of this cell here to this dark blue color, when we hover that, we can, and we'll go ahead and change it, we can see it's light blue here, but if we jump back into light mode, now it's that dark blue color. So one little pro tip here, if you're in dark mode and you're doing some formatting, we'll go back here to the home tab, on the uh, color picker here, if you hover over the color for long enough, you'll get this screen tip that shows the contrast. And this is the contrast in light mode. So this will let you know what the cell will look like in light mode. So if we want to change it to this lighter blue shade, you can see here that we have a low contrast because the font color is currently white and it would be difficult to read. I haven't spent a lot of time using dark mode yet, but I'd probably do most of my formatting in light mode just because of these color inversion issues. And another thing to be aware of with dark mode is it does have some limited functionality when it comes to charts or slicers or really any shapes on the sheet. As you might have seen there, the text color actually kind of changed a little bit when we went into dark mode. And what I've noticed, if you go to this design tab here and uh, switch to some of these other darker themes like this one here, here we have dark text in dark mode. And if we jump back to the view tab and switch, we now have lighter text here. So it seems like the text is actually changing colors, although not the right colors, uh, but it is changing colors here. So it does seem to maybe work with shapes and charts. Uh, and maybe this is just a bug or something that Microsoft hasn't refined yet. And one thing I'd like to see changed with dark mode is the keyboard shortcut. So of course, Alt W gets us up here to the view tab. As you can see, the keyboard shortcut for switch modes is M1. So you have to actually press two keys on the keyboard here to enable or disable dark mode. I think it'd be great if this was D, the letter D for dark mode. Alt WD would be a great shortcut to toggle dark mode. Now, if this is something you'll use frequently, you can always right click, add a quick access toolbar, and then quickly toggle it from the QAT up here. Now, I should mention that dark mode is still in beta. So if you're not seeing it yet, that's why. Even if you do have uh, the black office theme or the U system setting office theme enabled, you might still not be seeing it. But I'm curious to know if you're excited about dark mode. So leave a comment below and let us know. If you enjoyed this one, hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you wanna learn even more time-saving Excel tips, then check out this video next. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.